We are staying in Kaduna State, where reports showed that armed bandits attacked another community within a Kajiro local government area of the state, abducting about 87 individuals. Senior reporter Lupe Asom reports that a resident of one of the affected communities, Haris Kajuru, confirms that among the kidnapped individuals were minors, including babies. In the meantime, the Chief of Defense Staff, General Christopher Mosa, earlier today visited Kaduna State, where he pledged unwavering commitment to securing the state. And for more on the latest kidnapping in Kajiru, TVC News senior reporter Lope Asom and the former chairman of the local government area, Kafra Kaino, join me on the news. Uh, thanks for joining us, gentlemen. Let's begin with you, uh, Lupe. What more can you tell us about this latest development? Any word from security operatives about efforts to secure the release of the kidnapped victims? All right, let's now bring you details of uh, that report, after which we'll speak with Kafra Kaino. The alarming increase in kidnapping incidents within Kaju local government area of Kaduna State is disturbing. In the latest attack, at least 87 individuals, including minors and babies, were whisked away from Kajuru Station. This incident follows closely on the heels of previous abductions, bringing the total number of kidnapped individuals in less than two weeks to 162. The Defense Chief General Christopher Musa has come to Kaduna to assess the situation and coordinate efforts to ensure the safe return of those kidnapped. Expressing grave concerns, General Musa emphasized the perpetrator's agenda to undermine the federal and state governments, portraying them as weak. Doctrine, as we know, is a social activity. People are doing it for their own sake. Some are doing it to bring down the government, to make the government look weak. But we guarantee that this will end. We are doing everything possible to ensure that we achieve success, and we will achieve success. We are also trying to stop it, to make sure that it does. But what we require is for Nigerians to give us support. Most times when we get information, it comes in a bit late. Before we react to get there, it is late. But we are happy with the way people are responding. You can see from what happened in Delta State, how Nigerians are responding. Everybody supporting the armed forces and the security forces. That is what will ginger the troops to continue to do more. He issues a stern warning to the perpetrators reaffirming the military's unwavering commitment to safeguarding citizens. But you, the parents, we know you have been spending sleepless nights. We equally are doing the same. We are with you in this. I will continue to be with this. And Your Excellency want to assure you that uh, we will put in everything possible. We are making some adjustments to ensure that Kaduna is secured. The Northwest is secured. Nigeria is secured. Uh, because everybody is tired of what's going on. And for those individuals that have sworn that there will be no peace, they will have no peace. We will ensure that we fo follow them up wherever they are. And those ones that are sponsoring them and encouraging them to do the same. For their own good, they should stop. Here in Kaduna, like I said, we are doing everything to ensure that we protect the lives and properties of our citizens. Because we believe the process of love and property of our citizens is the most important responsibility of our government. As efforts intensify to address the crisis, the collective determination to restore peace and security in Kaju and beyond remains steadfast. Lupe Asom, TVC News, Kaduna.